this video i am going to explain you a question which was asked in csir net june 2014 physics and this question is quite important because um, this type of question usually in, means uh, this type of questions usually come in a csir net in, okay so if you know this type of questions you can really make a good score in your csir net okay so uh, let's read the question so in class according to the question so according to the question in classical model a scalar that is the spin zero particle meson consists of a quark and an anti quark bounded by the potential okay so where a is equals to 200 mega electron volt per femtometer and b equals to 100 mega electron volt femtometer if the masses of quark and anti quarks are negligible the masses the mass of the sorry the mass of the meson can be approximately can be estimated approximately so in the question you really uh, that the question have asked you to calculate the mass of the meson you have they have asked you to calculate the mass of the meson okay using this much information so let's see what are the main information the main information is that you are given the meson okay and that meson consists of the quark and an anti quark okay and the quark and anti quark in the meson is bounded by the potential this potential okay so this is the potential which binds the quark and anti quark inside the uh, mission okay so here r is the distance between quark and anti quark and a and b are some constants okay okay so let's see with the help of this much information how we can find the mass of the meson approximately okay okay so the solution is quite easy so this is the potential that was given to us okay so this here is the quark and here is the anti quark and r is the distance between the quark and the anti quark so this system forms the meson according to the question okay okay <clears throat> so if the meson is stable then in equilibrium okay then at, at equilibrium the forces on each quark should be zero so if the meson is in equilibrium position then the forces on each particle that is at quark and anti quark should be zero so the forces should be zero now <clears throat> you all know that the force is equal to the negative gradient of the potential energy with respect to the position vector okay so this is the force and this force should be equal to zero okay at equilibrium okay so i have uh, plugged the value of this potential from here in this equation and i have and i have differentiated it properly and on solving i got this much and and and, and then i plugged the values of a and b the value of a and b was given in the question okay i have plugged the values properly and the value of r has came out and it will be equals to 1 over root 2 so, so it will be the uh, 1 over root 2 uh, okay so <clears throat> this is your value okay so now what you have to what we what is our next step is that we will plug the value of this r okay so putting the value of r equals to 1 over 2 root 2 okay it is value of r is 1 over root 2 so we are i am going to plug this value of r in this equation okay in this equation so i have plugged the value of r in this equation and i got this equation and finally on solving i have got 200 under root 2 mega electron volt okay so this is the value of the potential okay so this is the value of the potential that exists between between quark and anti quark in the meson at equilibrium okay okay so now now uh, in order to find the mass of the meson with this much information we have to use some tricks now now we know that by the ma einstein's mass energy equivalence relation that that if that if the mass of the meson is m okay if the mass of the meson is m okay and if this meson is completely converted into energy 
okay if the meson of mass m is completely converted into energy then 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 the energy is given by e equals to e means mc square equals to e so this will be the energy when this mass of me this m mass of meson is completely converted into energy then this is that um, that is this is the that amount of energy that you will get okay okay so this this constitutes the total energy of the meson okay okay so we know that this will this is the energy this will be the energy of the meson and currently we also know that the meson has the potential this potential energy only okay so at uh, by using the principle of conservation okay so the the these both the energies so potential energy and this energy should be equal okay so i have equated both the energies and i have plugged the value of this e equals to mc square here okay so i have plugged the values properly okay and <clears throat> i have written here also that e equals to mc square by einstein mass energy equivalence relation okay further i have solved it okay here i have plugged the values of the potential which i already calculated here at this point to here okay and i have solved it and further <coughs> i have uh, i have further written it properly with the help of all the units properly okay and then i have, can further solve it to this value so this is your answer okay so thanks for watching this video thank you very much